We are back. We are back. We are back. How are my lashes looking? Let's talk about that real quick. I'm excited why I have not bought makeup for three months I was on a no buy from January until April 1st and I even exceeded my initial deadline by 10 11 days or so and I finally have makeup I finally have makeup and I'm excited I hope my lash is holding up okay but I think we're gonna be okay I I'm excited I'm excited to share with you what I purchased before I get into it I'm Shmuriel. I don't think I said that. So, hey, I'm Shmuriel. That's number one. Number two, please subscribe if you're not already and like the video if you like it. Lastly, I'm missing three nails. I just want to go ahead and get that out of the way. So, we're in the process of taking them all off. Yeah, so I just want to go ahead and address that. So, if you see it later, that's my business, as Tabitha Brown would say. Okay, so if you want to see what I got after a three month long no buy, then please keep watching. We are going to start with foundation. I wanted to give the Juvia's Place, the Shade Sticks Multi-Purpose Foundation Sticks a go. I ended up getting two of them because I wasn't exactly sure what my shade was. So I got Dominicana and I got Grenada. And we're gonna see what's what. Y'all know my swatch game is needs work. So this is Dominicana. It looks like that. Ooh. Okay. And then this is Grenada. That's how I, that's my janky accent. So Grenada is here. Huh, yeah, this is why I was confused as to which one to get, because <laughs> they look very similar. So, Dominicana and Grenada. So, I'll have to try it on my face at some point. Today is not that point. But I think, I think I'll be okay. Let's rub it in. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think I'll be okay. They're both rubbed into my skin. And the coverage, okay. Okay, pigment. Okay, coverage. All right. So I have been wearing foundation in this Panda Express that we're in, but I'm usually doing it from here up. I've started getting to the point where I have to do my under eyes because some of the masks that I wear, you can see the bags and I'm just not here for it. So yeah, we're having to extend beyond. It used to be just the eyes up and now it's this basically this whole section here so more than half the face actually i showed these at the end of my last haul but if you either a didn't watch the haul or b didn't make it to the end of the haul or c you're new to my channel then all of this is new to you so i fell for the gotcha or i fell for the okie doke when you order something from a company and if they have uh perfumes and stuff they put their samples in it and then you're like ooh. so i fell for that I got the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Seduction Rollerball. The notes for this are Nude Tuberose, T-U-B-E-R-O-S-E, -E, Tuberose, I don't know how to say it. So Nude, insert word that I can't pronounce, Sage and Velvet Musk. It smelled really good on the little piece of paper sample that they gave, oh, okay, for whatever reason. I thought it was a two-headed roller ball. It's not. Just the way it looks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me likey. And then I also got the Bombshell Intense. And the notes for this are Lush Cherry, Red Peony, and Sultry Vanilla. If you are new here, I love vanilla scent. It's the best thing ever. So most things that have vanilla in it, I like. And so when I smelled it on the little sample and then I 
saw the notes, I was like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. Mm, this one's my favorite. I could have just gotten two of these and been fine, but yeah. So I'm definitely excited about these two new additions. I love roller balls. To me, they're more convenient to just throw them in your purse and, oh, I didn't, you know, I didn't put on perfume and just kind of hit all the hot spots and keep it moving. So we are excited about our new scents. Okay, so that's all I've gotten over the past couple of days. Today is Thursday, so just over the course of the past four days, I've been getting these things that you see here. And then today, I got what I've really, 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 really been excited about. Oh, wait, you can't see that. Yay, I haven't shopped there in so long. The VIB sale, as I'm sure most of you know, was happening. And I didn't do too bad. I know I initially started off with hundreds of dollars worth of stuff in my cart and I was able to work it down to maybe 80 or so. So I was very proud of myself for doing that. I love how they have it labeled as priority two day mail, but UPS passed it, passed it on to the post office and it was supposed to be here Monday. It didn't get here until today. It's Thursday, so there's that. But we have it, that's all that matters. Okay, so I'm very excited about the things that I have in here. First up is the Moroccan oil hair treatment. I just like to use this in my hair. It smells good. It My stylist uses it when she washes my hair. It smells good. I like how it makes my hair feel afterwards. It's shiny, it's nourishing, and it's pricey, which is why I only got a, how big is this bottle? <laughs> 25 milliliters. See how little this is? but I use it, a little goes a long way. So this little bottle is $15, but again, I use a little bit every time I wash my hair, a little goes a long way, and maybe one of these days I'll splurge on the big bottle and see how long it lasts me. But I wanted to get another one of these before I ran out of the one that I currently have in stock, so I love this stuff. And I have to wash my hair this weekend, so. Okay, I'm very excited about this next product. This is the Huda Beauty Balm Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil. I wasn't sure what shade to get, so I got medium brown, because sometimes you just never know. I was very excited about getting this because of how thin, okay, this is spooly, the little brush. I was very excited to get this because of how thin I could see that the pencil is. Oh yeah, look at this. See how, see how little that is and thin and so let's see, oop, not too much. I think this will help me better navigate filling in my brows. Okay, I think medium brown might be a good shade for me. Can you see? Yeah, I think I'll be able to make that work. Cause you know, you don't wanna go too dark. Speaking of Huda Beauty, I know, I did not need this. I didn't need any of this. But I got the brown, what's the official name for this? It's an eyeshadow palette. I don't know. It says brown <laughs> and caramel and Huda Beauty. She has three different versions. I wanna say a chocolate, a caramel, and something else. Okay, ma'am, how am I supposed to open this? Don't make me use my good tweezers. I was going to complain about the packaging, but it's recyclable. So, and it's Earth Day, so I'm definitely gonna, I recycle all the time, but I'm definitely gonna recycle now. So, I was gonna complain about this, but it says, I am not perfect, but I am recyclable. So, shout out to Huda for thinking of the planet. So, here's a better shot of it. And the shades, let's see here. Oh, pretty. Pretty, look at that. And you know I love warm tones. Well, if you don't know, now you know. So, yeah. I was mainly excited about this shade here. So let's see what this watch does. Oh, I probably should have taken a picture of this before I swatched it. Oh, oh well. Um, okay, this wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Okay, y'all, again, y'all know my shade, my swatch game is trash. Um, let's see the shade here. Ooh, 
Okay. Mm. I feel like if I had lights on, you might be able to see it better. Stand by. Mm. I don't think that helps. Okay, one more. Are we going to try one more? <laughs> Ooh, creamy. Okay, there we go. There's some pigment. Maybe my swatch game. Well, yeah, clearly I need to step my swatch game up. Okay, so I redid this one. Mm, kind of. But look at that. Crazy. So, yes, we're excited. And again, the warm golds and the browns, all of that is up my alley. So we're excited. And last but not least, because again, just because I've been without makeup for a while, I didn't completely lose my mind, just partially. Last but not least, I got another perfume. I fell for this the same way I fell for the Victoria's Secret one. Um, Ulta sent me their little newsletter and you know how Ulta stays packing their newsletters with the perfume samples and so I smelled it and I was in love this is the Dolce and Gabbana okay can you please spell Gabbana hello guess not this is the Dolce and Gabbana what are you called why don't I know what you're called not helpful okay I'm gonna find the name and I'm gonna put it somewhere it literally just says Dolce & Gabbana I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna and I'm gonna let you know it was two of them it was a rose one and then this one but I only chose one okay Oh, sorry, I thought I heard my phone vibrating. Okay, I feel like I can't smell it as much as I would if I didn't realize it's a spray. But it's fine. I still like the size of it. Still small enough to put in the purse and not make too much of a mess. So, that's all I got from Sephora. I'm so proud of myself because I think old me would have lost her mind after not having had bought makeup for months. First off, I don't even know if old me could have gone months. But 2021 me can go three months and 11 days without makeup and then buy some and only spend maybe like a hundred dollars or so because I'm including the stuff I got coming to. So maybe like 120, whatever. Okay, so this will conclude part one. As I said, part two, I will be showing you the stuff that I got, the other stuff that I got from Dose of Colors. So for me, it's going to be a couple of days, but for you, it'll be in the next few seconds. We are several, several days later, obviously an entirely different setup. It's storming here in Atlanta, and this was the best I could do. My hair got wet, so you can see my natural curls poking out. It's fine. We're just going to get through this. I'm super excited to show you what I have. This is what was holding everything up. This package was supposed to come on the 24th of April and then the 25th and then it was just in transit arriving late. I had to holler at the UP, uh, the post office people like what's going on, where is my package, da, 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 da. it finally came today. So what did I get from Dose of Colors that was so important? I'm about to show you. Ooh, I got something else, oh I got too comfortable because there's something else I got from them. I actually placed that order first and then placed this order, which I should have just done them all at the same time, but just let me live, all right? So I'm gonna show you this stuff first and then show you the other thing that I got. Okay. Okay, all right, packaging. They made sure she arrived safe and sound. I appreciate that. This is the Dose of Colors Sassy Sienna's palette. I saw it on their website. I saw some girl I follow on YouTube using it and I just couldn't not have it. 
I love warm neutral tones. If you're new here, that's something to know about me. How is my battery dying? <laughs> my camera battery died, so I had to switch cameras, but we should be good for the time being until this one decides to overheat. But that's a whole nother issue. Not exactly sure where I got caught up. I'm not exactly sure where I got cut off, but I got the Sassy Sienna's palette from Dose of Colors. I love warm, neutral shades. That's totally my jam. So this is what she looks like. I'm mainly excited about these two. Let's do some swatching, shall we? And it comes with a little brush. I cannot with my nubs right now. They're not even nails, they're nubs. Ooh, she's pretty. Okay, pigment. Oh yeah, she's pretty. Look at this. Super pretty. So excited to play with this beauty. All right. Next up from Dose of Colors, I picked up their unbox lip liner nope it's an eyeliner and the reason why i got this is because they had some kind of set on sale it consisted of the sassy sassy sienna's palette this eyeliner and something else but i wasn't totally sold on all the products that were included in the bundle so i got i got some of them separate i don't know but this eyeliner is called unbox Ooh, she's pretty. Look at that. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. You may or may not have been worth the wait. Okay, I ain't trying to mess you up. There you go. And last but not least, I got, oh, I just got this lip gloss because I needed, um, I needed to round my order up so I could get free shipping. But this is the Dose of Colors, obviously, Moi, Moi lip gloss. It's from their Min Disney collection or something they had going on. As you can see, it has some glittery, shimmery situations going on. So I'm excited about this. This reminds me, do y'all remember when Desi and Katie, their two YouTubers, collaborated with Dose of Colors and they came out with their collection and they had that lip gloss called Over the Top? It reminds me of Over the Top. Oh, yep. Hold on. We're not going to talk about why this is still in the box. But this is an over-the-top gloss. So, in terms of the glitter, you see what I mean? I need to start just wearing gloss just because I can. So, she's pretty and we like her. And I want to show you another lippy. This is another lippy that I got from Dose of Colors. As I said, I ordered this first and then I fell in love with all the products I just showed you, but I had already received this. And this is a liquid matte lipstick in the shade Merlot. And if you know me, you know I like reds. And here she is. She's a, she's a bright red. What? I'll have to find the description that they use to describe her online. I more so prefer blue reds and she's kind of a pinky cherry type red. Where's my phone? Right in front of me. As my mother would say, if it was a snake, it would have bit you. Is that some country stuff? Probably. It's described as a cool toned red. So yeah, I'd agree with that. But she's super pretty. And that's all I got from Dose of Colors. I'm glad she finally decided to come and be a part of everything I have going on over here. Next up, we ordered from Ulta. So, let me show you what I got from Ulta. They've been doing this in terms of boxes. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. 
First up, I got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. It says it boosts hydration for soft, supple skin, effectively eliminates, nope, effectively removes makeup and impurities, and it, ha and it has hyaluronic acid in it. I have a little sample or a smaller travel size bottle of this, and I really like it, so I decided to upgrade to a fuller size. I just like when I use facial products and they foam up, it makes me feel like I'm getting a more effective clean if you will it doesn't dry out my skin it feels soft and supple so and I do love Neutrogena's skincare stuff so wanted to upgrade to the little six ounce bottle speaking of Neutrogena and skincare I got two of the hydro boost hydrating masks that also have hyaluronic acid in them again I just like to try my best to take care of my skin she is getting older and she is trying to keep this black from cracking so the goal is to use these like one one Sunday one the other Sunday and I need to obviously add to my collection if I want to keep this up next up I just needed some more duo lash eye glue eye glue no girl this is duo lash eyelash glue I was just missing one word and this is the one I tend to like the best, the duo that looks like this, the dark top with the, and then it's not the traditional brush, or at least it shouldn't be if I got the right kind. Yeah, it's just a little, little bar like that. So I was running low on it and wanted to re-up. So we got that. Oh. So I want to start getting my feet done regularly. And so I bought in between me going to getting in between me going to get pedicures and doing my feet myself. I just wanted to upgrade because I literally own three nail polishes. I'm not someone who paints her toenails a lot. Okay. I'm not someone who paints her toenails a lot. And then when I tried recently, I had no kind of top coat, nothing. So this is just an SE base coat just I don't know why I had to rip open the box like that but yeah that's all this is I am getting my nails done later on this week and I'm so glad because I am living that nub life and I'm not about it I hate it so much blue is my favorite color if you didn't know that about me <laughs> now I typically don't tend to go for color like a, a blue this bright but again spring summer trying to you know whatever we about to have them toes out once I start getting them done so this is the SC nail color in juicy details so we're excited about that I just needed some eyeliner which technically I didn't because I just opened an eyeliner <laughs> like a week or two ago about a week ago a week ago but it doesn't matter because now I have the L'Oreal voluminous liner noir eyeliner I always like it when they have a very fine tip so that I can just get in there and, and do my thing I'm not someone who can do winged eyeliner well but sometimes getting eyeliners that have that tip and that focus and that point make me feel like I can I still can though <laughs> okay two more things Still on the nail polish train. This is the Essie Nail Color in Berry Naughty. This is more my jam. Dark, vampy. This is more my jam. So between these two, this is what we're going to be rocking for the summer. <laughs> and last but not least, I picked up the LA Pro, or nope, this is LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the Peach Corrector. I'm so sick of seeing these girls on Instagram who do the little peach correcting and concealer and then all of a sudden their eye bags are gone because that doesn't seem to happen for me so I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I'm hoping that this peach concealer will help hide the fact that I'm tired every day that ends in Y all the time I'm tired right now as I'm talking to you but we're pushing through so I just want to not look so tired and again I see the the magic on Instagram and I don't know how to harness the magic for me so hopefully this will help and it's just funny that I ordered this because I want to say a couple of days after I ordered this is when um, Fenty announced that they're coming out with their eye brightener stuff. And I was like, hmm, I wonder which one will be better. Uh. <laughs> I wonder which one will be better. I Maybe I'll find out eventually, but I'm not going to get the Fenty stuff anytime soon. 
so that's it from Ulta um I did pretty good in terms of these were the only two makeup products I got everything else was skincare and nails and then you know the stuff from Dose of Colors I'm very excited to play with this uh palette so oh one thing I will say about this nail color because I did play around in it she is hard to get off so be prepared to use some scrubs some some Mar Marcella water micellar however that stuff by Garnier be prepared to have all that on deck and for it to still be on your lips like a day or two later just be prepared if you get that particular shade because she is long lasting she's effective she's not transfer proof though so keep that in mind Ooh, I almost forgot one thing I don't had a whole phone conversation and saw these as I was pacing around because I can't sit still while I'm on the phone and I realized I didn't show you these I showed them in my vlog they are the kiss Falscara, the new way to lash, is this situation here. So, from what I've gathered, you put some stuff on, some bonding glue like it's mascara, and then you put the little lashes. You see how they have them broken up into little pieces? Then you put the little lashes under your eyes, like that. And then apparently the bond stuff that you put on there is supposed to keep them in check and then you seal them and it comes with a little applicator and stuff I got these from CVS maybe once a month or so they send me an email maybe bi-weekly it doesn't matter but the point is they send me an email saying I can get 40% off one item and this was my one item so I am excited to try these I was gonna do it for you guys today but seeing as how I'm only gonna wear them for the length of the length of this video I wasn't I didn't want to you know, so I'm going to wait until, I don't know, I feel the time is right. I'm scared because, again, you're putting them under, oop, look, see, that's why I'm scared. <laughs> you put them under, not over, and it just seems like it'll feel weird. I could totally be wrong, but a coworker of mine was wearing these, and they looked really good on her, so I'm excited to give them a try. Okay, now that's it for the haul for real. Okay, that's it. We finally were able to complete the haul. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy I have everything because this was stressful with a K. All right, so thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Let me know if you have any of these products or if you recommend anything. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Again, thank you for taking the time to watch. And until my next video, I'll see you later. Bye.